I married the best rapper of all time. There's like honestly nothing to talk about. I mean, I won't live with Not like the that, fighting and stuff. I feel like a f***ing failure that it's like a third f***ing marriage. Yeah, I feel like a Loser. Reality TV star and fashion icon Kim Kardashian West is fed up with her marriage with rapper Kanye West and is not afraid to let the whole world know. Not only has Kim been sourcing for divorce from the ill-fated marriage, she's looking to be as free as a bird if the divorce proceedings won't declare her as such at her own pace. So what measures is a mother of four and a strange wife of Kanye West, aka Ye, taking to assure her freedom from her former marriage and get far away from Ye? As fast as her legs can take her? Well, we all know hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And Kim Kardashian West is sure feeling pretty scorned plenty going by her ex-husband's antics in the past months. The KKW beauty boss isn't keeping her cool as usual, but she's firing back this time in the court of law. Kim has recently filed court documents claiming her estranged husband, Donda rapper and father of her four children, Yi, has caused her emotional distress by putting a lot of misinformation on social media. According to the documents obtained by TMZ, the reality TV star reportedly pleaded with a judge to sign off on her divorce from Kanye West after he objected to her demands. Kim explained that privacy has become a huge issue for the estranged couple due to Kanye's frequent online rants. More importantly, considering her recent dating status, the Keeping Up with the Kardashians alum and another recent filing requested a judge to declare her legally single in December 2021, which would divide the divorce proceedings into two parts. The first would settle her legal name and marital status, while the second would determine custody of the couple's four kids. Going by Kanye's history of publicly announcing the desire to have Kim back on several occasions, it doesn't come as a surprise that the Yeezy founder has objected to having the process split. Supporting Kim's claims that the rapper businessman is doing everything possible to to frustrate the progress of their divorce settlement. It is clear at this point that Kim really wants Yi to get the message. There is no going back on their divorce and there sure isn't any hope of them getting back together, despite Yi's wishes and many efforts to bring his family back. According to Kim's counsel, via the filing, Kanye shouldn't be trying to rewrite his and Kim's prenup, which was signed by the couple in 2014, saying, Mr. West, by his actions, has made it clear that he does not accept that the party Party's marital relationship is over, her lawyer said. Mr. West has disseminated on social media the party's private communications and misinformation about personal family matters and co-parenting, which has caused emotional distress. Kim's legal team emphasized the couple's prenuptial agreement and that there are no community, property, assets, or debts, therefore bombishing Kanye's claims and objections as being off base about certain retirement accounts as a reason for opposing Kim's divorce filing. The document reviewed by the Times hammers home that they are both independently wealthy. They kept their finances separate. They did not jointly acquire any assets during marriage. They filed separate income tax returns during marriage. They each had separate business managers, tax preparers, estate attorneys, and business attorneys. This is the status quo. Terminating the marital status should help Mr. West to accept that the party's marital relationship is over and to move forward on a better path which will assist in peacefully co-parenting the party's children, said the legal document as obtained by TMZ. Kanye has, however, made it clear that he is not giving up Kim or the marriage without a fight. It's been reported that Yi has responded by countering Kim's claims, filing his own court documents right back as he wants to make his social media posts attacking Kim and her new boyfriend Pete Davidson and others inadmissible in the next hearing per his suit. You'll remember that Chicago-born rapper West has been launching different different attacks against his separated wife and her boo, Pete, via social media accounts, actions he apparently has some regrets about lately. Barely a month ago, Yi posted a calm Instagram message apologizing to Kim for posting screenshots of messages between them, where the Kardashian was worried about the safety of her man, Pete Davidson, due to Kanye's several threatening posts. The since-deleted tweet also showed Yi acknowledging that his frequent posting came off as harassing Kim, saying, I've learned that using all 
cops makes people feel like I'm screaming at them. It however doesn't look like Kanye is as sorry as he claims to be. In his recent filing, Yee made this case that the custody of their children could be further complicated if the Kardashians were able to marry again and have spousal privilege protecting communications about their children. Kanye asked the courts to ask Kim to waive her future spousal privilege. This is unprecedented. Kim's lawyers responded, clearly Mr. West's goal here is to prevent or make it difficult for Ms. Kardashian to remarry, adding that Yee's new arguments have little to do with the legal details of their split and have everything to do with the fact that he does not want their marriage to end. In her filing, the American bombshell and pop culture icon has instructed the courts to not be swayed by Yee's efforts to impede her divorce request and that all objections by him should be rejected. Through the spousal back and forth, it then doesn't come as a shock that the 41-year-old Skims CEO has asked the judge to sign off on her divorce with Yee, 44, so that she can begin the healing process and move forward, adding that she very much desires to be divorced. Safe to say Kimmy is feeling trapped and if we're honest, who wouldn't? The aspiring lawyer further noted that termination of her and Yee's marital status could help him accept that our marital relationship is over and to move forward on a better path which will assist us in peacefully co-parenting our children. The couple who got married at a high-end ceremony in Italy in 2014 share four children, North, Som, Chicago, and Som together before Kim filed for divorce in February 2021 after many years of marriage. A source close to Kim speaking to Entertainment Weekly's revealed that Kanye's public statements imploring Kim to take him back and the online attacks he has launched towards her and her loved ones have led her to want less to do with him than ever and is only interested in co-parenting their four children together and nothing more. Kim only wants a healthy co-parenting relationship with Kanye and other than that, she doesn't want anything to do with him right now, the source said, noting Kardashian has leaned on her boyfriend Pete Davidson for support throughout this period. As Kardashian's romance with Pete Davidson has flourished in the public eye, this has only agitated the father of four who has expressed just how he feels about the relationship and it has not been pleasant. Kim's boyfriend is reportedly wearing his big boy pants and has been the bigger person in all of this fiasco going on, choosing to remain silent despite all the unpleasant things being said about him by Kanye. Pete has been supportive of Kim and they are staying positive about their relationship and enjoying how things are going, the source said. Pete doesn't want to be involved in the drama so he deleted his Instagram account, much to Kanye's pleasure. Barely a week after rejoining Instagram after over three years of deactivating his account and being absent from social media due to mental health reasons, Pete's new account, which very quickly gained millions of followers, shared his first post but was quickly flooded with several harsh messages from Yee's fanbase, who kept commenting, calling him skeet and telling him to find God despite the SNL comedian not making any reference to Yina's first IG debut in years. The source added that Kim is exhausted by Yee's bullying. The back and forth with Kanye has been incredibly draining and upsetting for her, the source said. She's been trying to move on with her life and taking care of herself and Kanye's actions have made it difficult to do so. Not only has Kanye been after Pete in the past months, he has also accused Kim of several parenting mishaps, such as allowing daughter North to have a TikTok account against his will. To deepen his personal disapproval of Kim's parenting methods, just recently, Ye publicly condemned his second daughter, Chicago's appearance, after she was pictured on her Aunt Chloe IG story. Taking a screenshot of the said photograph and reposting on his Instagram page, these pics are too grown looking for my little girl. Yee captioned the picture where Chicago was seen making pouty faces with Chloe while also using a face altering filter. Phew, when it comes to Kanye's continuous drama, we wouldn't want to be Kim right now. Now, we get why she wants to get rid of him ASAP. Want to know more about what has been transpiring between Kanye and Kim in the past few months following her new relationship with Pete and Pete's reaction to Yee sending him threats all over social media? Then you need to check out this video. Thanks for watching.